Okay, so today I am primarily going to be doing a little bit of a review, uh, using in a little bit of a review of this Beaver Classic uh, 400 gram hatchet. And, um, but I went ahead and brought out a few other, uh, just a little bit of a comparison. So this is a Wetterlings um, uh, wildlife hatchet. This is a Stube 400 gram uh, hatchet. And this is a Mueller um, 600 gram. And this is in their economy line. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm just gonna kind of give you a little bit of a rounded uh, view on each of these. And I wanted to bring out the 400 because these kind of are a small, uh, they're a little bit different, a little bit smaller than a lot of axes that are on the market these days. Okay, let's go ahead and get some measurements on this guy. So, uh, if you're not familiar with Mueller, Mueller's uh, axes have been hand forged uh, in the uh, same area there in Austria for uh, the last three, four hundred years, dating back to the 1600s, and. Um, they're still in a fairly small factory that uses water power. The creek runs through uh, belt drive uh, through, through the facility as well as uh, uh, generating electricity that they use there in the uh, shop. Okay, so onto the size. Got about a three inch blade, got about a uh, five and a half inch head length and have a 13 inch overall length. So a fairly, fairly compact hatchet. The lines, it's got that uh, little bit of a Rhineland styling. Fairly, fairly blocky on the backside. Fairly tight hitting head, uh, fitting head, excuse me. Like a lot of the German Axis, this one is fairly tight fitting, but the Helco um, and a lot of those, you'll tell, they're, they just, they have similarities and you can see it um, a lot of times they're they're not necessarily completely finished in their uh, uh, eyes a lot of times there will be little gaps in there we have very few of the um, Mueller or the Helcos we saw a lot of both um, a lot of the Helcos and um, basically none of their handles come off people say hey there's a gap in there and I, I myself, you know, I'll, I will, I'll kind of pull this one up here so you can kind of get an eye. You know, this is a Swedish, uh, a Wetterlings, uh, very, very tight. We, we probably over the years had more uh, Wetterlings and, and this is in no means, love the Wetterling axis, use them a lot, still use them, um, love them, along with the Grand First axis, but it's not always a sign, no gap here. Uh, a lot of times I will point that out when I'm doing it because it looks pretty, but that is no guarantee that you will not have a loose head. And a lot of times the German, they fit them on here, maybe just a little bit rough, maybe just a little bit of a finish there, but no worries. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go from here and um, we'll, you'll see it in action and then I'll wrap up the video with maybe a little bit of a, a few thoughts on these other axes, but okay. than that to begin with. So you can see a fairly small size, and I did not sharpen this one. This one's out of the box. Got another one that I've used, but it is currently visiting somebody else. So I probably would sharpen this just a tad out of the box, but as you can see, that is not bad. This is a, I believe this is a hackberry so they're fairly all 
I wanted to leave that a little bit straighter there. Normally I would kind of come in from the side so that you could see how it was cutting. All right, so I'm not gonna do another section on that, but that is a short handle on a light head. That is made short work of that. Obviously, a lot of these small heads, it would be good for throwing and it would be good for really any bush crafting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a limbing so you can kind of see kind of how that would work. Obviously, a lot of work that would be done on these axes, on these small hatchets, is just kind of anything utility that you have to do. If you're getting into the big limbing, if you're getting into some of the big limbing, eh, you might want to pick up a bigger ax, but this is great to kind of put on your, uh, <clears throat> put on your belt carry around, light to carry around. Like I said, in that smaller size, so obviously I want you to get a real feeling for this ax. I'm not putting anything, if I was to set this on something get a little bit more, but this is kind of how if you're just really clearing fast, you don't always do that. So you can see right out of the box, that's fairly sharp. I wouldn't say razor sharp, fairly sharp. Very little bouncing there for holding it with my hand and the other end's not secure. Some final thoughts. All right, so I, I really like this little hatchet. It, um, cosmetically, it's not the most pretty ax, but uh, utilitarian wise, really, really love it. The steel is good. Um, I like the feel. It does have a fairly wide handle, so it feels good in my larger hands. Um, the head weight is, is pretty light. Like I said, there are other axes out there on the, on the market with the 400 gram heads, but it's a little bit of a different thing. I don't use a lot this size, but um, I will definitely grab for this one again. So um, you can see the blade is not super thin and the grind is it's fairly long, so it gives a pretty good, pretty good bite. Um, I would sharpen this one, as I mentioned before, would sharpen it a little bit more. So let me go ahead and do just a little bit of a comparison here. So you can see that the, the Stubays is a little bit more of a, a sharp V, a little wider blade and a little longer handle. And um, we've been selling a lot of those and they're excellent little axes. Um, I would say that there's a little bit more care uh, taken um, as far as the forging, obviously the Bieber Classic is a hand forged uh, model. So this, as far as the forging goes, would be kind of in between that and the Mueller Economy line. And that's why I brought the Mueller Economy line out here. So um, the Mueller Economy line is just, it's not, it's rougher in every way and it's more of a mass produced item. You're not going to pay nearly as much for this. I mean, just. I want to say that we sell this one for like $29, $24.99 and you can see that in it. It's just rough, it's a little dull um, and you're just not going to get the same type of axe. Um, and so the Stubay is kind of a good in-between. Okay, now, old trusty Wetterlings Wildlife Hatchet. Go ahead and hold that up here. You can see they've got the same forging marks and that type of thing, the class, uh, the um, ears on here. So a um, little bit more shape to the handle. But anyways, just a comparison for anybody that's interested. I like to bring that out every now and then and show it off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close out. Ring the bell. If you have any questions about the Mueller axis, feel free, give us a ring, not only on this small, on their hatchets, but their axis as well. Um, ring the bell subscribe 
uh, message us. We're glad. We're not always the fastest, but we try to answer all the messages. So um, God bless you today. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.